if there was ever one company that could lay claim to being the most prosperous financial empire on Wall Street, it is Berkshire Hathaway. At first glance, I think of this company as uh, merely a real estate giant, but it is involved in various other sectors on Wall Street that includes insurance, transportation, energy, utilities, retail, and consumer staples. Buffett is often called the Oracle of Omaha because he tends to have some some great insight when it comes to valuing companies and deciding which companies to own. By the way, Buffett is a very long-term investor. So, you know, we like that about him. We share that in common. That's some of the only things that we do share with him, though. He actually has some pretty decent wisdom about giving and estate planning. He has said that his wealth would go primarily, that he he lives on 1% of his wealth and he's committed to giving away the other 99%. He said this about his uh, inheritance, the inheritance that he'll leave behind. My kids are going to carve out their own place in this world and they know that I'm for them, whatever they want to do. He went on to say that giving his kids a, quote, lifetime supply of food stamps just because they came out of the right womb is a harmful and antisocial act. Buffett told the mag- uh, magazine that he was going to give his kids enough money so that they would feel like they could do anything, but not so much that they could do nothing. And a, f- a few hundred dollars seemed like an appropriate amount, he said at the time. Now, he gave his kids way more than that. But he does plan on giving away 99% of his wealth while he's alive and within 10 years of his death. As of June of 2022, his lifetime giving totaled almost $50 billion. Sounds generous, right? Unfortunately, he robs God of his glory by saying, quote, my wealth has come from a combination of living in America, some lucky genes and compound interest. A good bit of his wealth has gone to and will go to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is the second largest charitable foundation in the world with al- almost $70 billion in assets. That's larger than a lot of corporations. At least his kids made it out of the womb, which is not the fate of so many other kids who will be victims of abortion, which some of his companies support. And his wife's foundation, which is his money too, also has given a lot of money to the cause of abortion. So the company has been very profitable. It has had great returns, but I hope this doesn't get your greed meter running because there are lots of alternatives to companies like Berkshire Hathaway. This company fails screens for LGBTQ support. So many of the companies that that are owned by Berkshire Hathaway supports this agenda. 